Take three parts Ali G, one part Tony Clifton, and two parts Stephen Colbert, and you get Steve Coogan's comic character creation, Alan Partridge. After 20 years of sporadic television appearances, including a talk show and a sitcom, an autobiography and a web show, Coogan has finally brought the egotistical Partridge to the big screen. That was a majestic voice. You can keep Jesus. As far as I'm concerned, Neil Diamond will always be king of the Jews. You are listening to The Partridge and the Poacher. <laughs> and uh, what I believe is a world first, I, Alan Partridge, a hostage broadcasting live from a siege at gunpoint. Pure class, Alan. And uh, today we'll be asking, what was better in the olden days? OK, Pat, shoot. I mean, uh, start speaking. The film is clever in its stupidity, very funny and very British. Yet with barely enough plot to go around and slapdash social commentary, this isn't the buffoonish blowhard at its best. Similarly, the film dives right into the story with little time spent on establishing characters, betting on its audiences to already know and love the crew. Identify yourself! Identify yourself! Alan Partridge! Who the... Alan Partridge! You know who I am. I've been off the TV that long. Identify yourself. While it's not necessary to be familiar with the character, American audiences unfamiliar with the extensive Partridge catalog may find themselves missing some of the jokes. Check out some of the characters' earlier work, like the sitcom I'm Alan Partridge. And if the almost lovable idiot charms you, if you like Alan Partridge, then you'll like Alan Partridge. Also, it's great just to see the two-time Oscar nominee fall out of his trousers and do the tuck. Stream it. This is my pet AD. No, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Should have had a leash. Really 